I'm Libby Dyson. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you spending some time with me. Before we get started on our stamping, I just want to remind you of a few things that are happening at the moment. There's the DSP sale. Buy three from a select lot choose a fourth one free great sale so you're saving yourself about twenty dollars at least and who doesn't like free stuff so and if you're into christmas already starting your christmas cards why not buy some christmas paper buy three get one free all right so that's a great offer plus there's the joining offer now, if you're not already a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love you to join my team. We've got a nice little group called the Crafty Owls. And at the moment, you get a free set of ink pads. So that's 10 ink pads worth, I think, about $117. So you get that on top of the $235 worth of product you already put in your kit. So that's a great saving and it's a great offer. If you'd like to know more, if you'd like to know more, just contact me. You can email me, private message me, whatever. I'd love you to be part of my Crafty Owls team. All right, um, what else? Oh, my weekly special this week is if you buy the Stamparatus in my online store and use the host code, I will send you a free silicon craft mat. Now, you might think, oh, what do I need one of those for? And I'll explain that during today. I had a double layout that I put up on Sunday of some Tassie devils that we saw in Tasmania at the zoo up near Bishano in Tassie um, a couple of years ago. And uh, I used the animal outing designer series paper for that. So if you didn't see that in the ESAC blog hop, um, pop on over to my blog and have a look. So that was a bit of fun. Um, that's a great paper to use for any of you zoo or um, animal-y type uh, layouts or cards or anything. Now, if you join my Choose It, Use It club, go to my blog. There's a link in the sidebar. Just click on it. It'll take you to a form that you need to fill in and then I'll add you to the Facebook group. Choose It, Use It is going to be all sorts of tips and tricks on using designer series paper, not just for cards but for scrapbooking and other projects as well. I'll share some One Sheet Wonders with you and... Um, other things so it'll kick off properly I think Friday week with a live video and at the moment I'm busy making um, projects to share on the group with you there's a competition I've put up in the group um, to win I hmm, can't remember I think some DSP but anyway so um, yeah pop along and join up my Choose It, Use It club. It's free to join and it's not going to cost you anything to stay. It's not going to cost you anything in there. So hop, hop along and have a look. And I got some happy mail today from a friend. Look at this. Coffee. Coffee. I'm grumpy when you're not around. <laughs> so it's a handmade card. And that's how it's finished. So it's from my friend Christine. So isn't she lovely to think of me? I love getting happy mail. We all love getting happy mail. So on to my card for today. So I've used Dragonfly Dreams. Um, so I did this um, card for today's blog post. I'm trying to be good and keep up with my, my blogging. So what I've done here is some um, double hinge stamping, I've called it. I don't know if that's what you call it. So I've inked up in 
gorgeous grape and I've stamped the happy birthday all the way down. Then I've inked up in Highland Heather and I've stamped enjoy your special day all the way, way down. And I've got a dragonfly on here. Um, we don't use our older stamp sets that often so you need to revisit them. And there's the inside of the card and the envelope. So that's sort of what we're doing today. I'm going to show you how I, how I did this. All right, so just a couple of things about your Stamparatus. And I'll talk about the hinged plates more when we finish st stamping and I've taken the stamps off. Now, I've got an offer on at the moment that if you buy the Stamparatus through my online store, I will send you a free craft sheet. I can't see any comments. All right, now... The silicon craft mat comes in a little plastic bag like this, all right, and it's $10. Good morning, Pam. So the silicon craft sheet is great. Now, you'll probably notice that mine's got glue and all sorts of stuff on it on one side. Um, it's it's very gluey. But when you have the, the plates on your Stamparatus closed without stamps you'll notice I don't know if you can see that but you'll notice that the plate almost meets the edge of the um, base just here but it doesn't here so good evening Pam where are you are you in the States are you heading to America Brenda Wilkinson good morning all right but if you put the silicon craft sheet in it's acts like a bit of a shim you know how all big shots are configured differently and sometimes you need a bit of a shim or a bit of extra paper to go into your big shot to get it to run through nicely um, this is acting a bit like a shim now something I realized last night look you've got one two three Oh, you're in Canada, Pam. Hi, Brenda. How are you? Have a lovely time, Pam. Leonie and Neil are on the plane. All right, you've got three 90-degree angle corners, right? And you've got one that's rounded off. Look at your Stamparatus. One, two, three 90-degree angle corners and one that's rounded off. So if you put your foam piece in that way, it's not jutting right into the corner so make sure it matches up with the base plate and it'll go right into the corner like that all right I think I've spoken to you before about the magnets and the storage places on the bottom of your stamparatus I've got painters tape on mine but if you've got washi tape that'll work too and it gives gives them a bit of a handle they're very, very strong. Oh, you're in the USA too, Brenda. Welcome. They're very, very strong, these magnets. Don't let them um, come together. Uh, they will party and break, shatter, um, or even worse, they could pinch your fingers together. We might get stamping. So when you've got two plates you can mount four stamps so I've already got this set up for the same as I did before and we're going to do that in different colors today so I've got my dragonfly here and I can just lift my plate up flip it put it back in and stamp again now this is really handy if you're doing a lot of cards um, for swaps or thank yous or invitations or if you want to get a whole lot of birthday cards done at once it's really really handy all right now i'm just going to pop that under there like that so it's flat you can take the, your plate out to step to ink it up um or you, you can pop a clear mount um stamp case underneath all right now 
I'm doing this on shimmery white and I want it to be nine and a half. No, I don't want it to be 10 because, yeah, there's a reason behind that. I did it 10 on the last one and then trimmed it down. 14.4. Um, I just like to give myself a little bit of extra room um, just in case. All right, now I have got my silicon craft sheet underneath. I've got my mat, which acts as my foam. So on these clear mount stamps, which aren't really clear, are they? They're called clear mount because we put them on clear acrylic blocks. See how they've got some foam there already? That's the cushion. And on the photopolymer stamps, they don't have any foam. It's just the clear photopolymer. All right. So you can see my Dragonfly Dreams is very well loved. So that's why we need the cushion when we're working with photopolymer. Now I'm going to jut my card into the corner because then if it moves, I know I can just put it back there. All right, I'm just going to use one magnet today. If I can move my stamparatus up. Yep, not working. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to use the one magnet. Make sure it's all jutted in well. And I'm going to pop that there like that. Just want to need to move this bit of grid paper up. That's it. All right, now I'm going to ink this up in blueberry bushel. And this stamp has come from Detailed with Love. And it says happy birthday. Now this is Alison's trick. Push the ends with your thumbs. And good morning, Marlene. How are you? And then lift up, she says. Oh. You know what? I hate getting old. Aches and pains everywhere. Never mind. All right, then I'm going to ink up this in blueberry bushel. And yep, put my stamp case back underneath the lid. Ink up in blueberry bushel. Stamp down. Oops. And look, that didn't even matter that I dropped that. All right, move it up one hinge. So just bring it to the upright the um, right angle position pull out push it back in one hinge down ink up again and stamp down now these hinges are about one inch apart so you can do this with stamps that are about uh, one inch all right otherwise you've got to go down two hinges each time that's better. All right, lift it up, put it back down. I wasn't very happy with the vibrancy of that colour on the last stamping, so that's the advantage of the Stamparatus. And so I just keep doing that all the way down. I'm hoping it's going to work nicely in blue. Lift it up, move it down and keep going one more should about do us now don't forget when you buy your stamparatus to get the chamois i'll show you the chamois in a minute mine's a bit grotty but all right i keep it in a clear mount case and i've got a dirty side it's supposed to be the clean side but somewhere along the line i forgot now this is great for cleaning your stamps but you know what it doesn't really take the place of your stamp and mist every now and then just give your stamps a nice clean with the stamp and mist as well all right so i'm going to take that stamp off because i want to talk to you a bit more about the plates in a minute so that was from detailed with love now i've already um put my sentiment my other sentiment on that's going to go in between and it's from dragonfly dreams and i'm going to lift up my plate and flip it and put it back in the first position 
Sounds a bit like ballet, doesn't it? Not that I ever did ballet. Got two left feet, my father tells me, or used to tell me. Yep, not working this morning. No muscles. No muscles. There we go. All right. So I hope you're all not too cold this morning. It's a bit milder today, I think. All right, so I'm inking up in um, Bashful Blue and I'm going to stamp down. Look at that. Some of these inks are a little bit more juicy than others. All right, I'm just going to clean that plate. Not that it ever impacts on your stamping because it's just designed like that. Stamping up a thought of everything um, that way. So it's a wonderful tool and if you haven't got one, you need one. All right, down one and stamp. Ink up, move it down one and stamp. Ink up, move it down one and stamp. And then I'm just going to move this magnet so I'm sure it's not in the way. Ink up for the last time. Now see how I've got ink on the plate? Watch. It doesn't transfer to the card. Beautiful. All right. So I'll clean that one off. And you just clean your chamois in uh, under the tap, just in cold water. So <laughs> minus 6.6 .6 in Tamworth. Oh, thanks, Pam. Yeah, it does work well, doesn't it? All right, so I'm going to take that plate off. And we've finished that front. And I'll just pop this in here and I'll pop it away later. All right, so that's the front done. And then I'm just going to bring in another piece of card for our dragonfly. I have to cut some and I'm using shimmery white today. I do like my shimmery white. Um, it's just, yeah, it's shimmery. And we all like a bit of shimmer, don't we? So I'm going to pop that in there and I'll show you a bit of a trick with this too. So this is where the Stamparatus comes into its own. Now I don't necessarily need this for this one, but I'm going to, might just move that around, I haven't done that very well. Just let me check. I'm going to have to move that out of the corner, I think. That's better. All right, so I said before, try and keep it in the corner, but for some reason, this is my placement's gone a bit. I think I used a bit of scrap that was different last night. All right, so I'm going to ink up the um, full image first, like the blank image of my dragonfly. And I'm going to close that ink pad up because otherwise I'll get ink everywhere. And come down and stamp. And I've done this one in balmy blue all right and then I'm going to clean that off and I'll actually remove it this time all 
because I do want to talk to you about the plates and the silicone mat. All right, and then I'm going to turn this one around, ink it up in, and I know, black as black, isn't it? Because I've used it so much. Um, and I, I do clean it, but, you know, yeah, not working. I'm not having a good time here today, am I? All right, that's better. All right, ink it up. Well, in blueberry bushel. And stamp down. Now give this a good rub because it's quite finely detailed. There we are. Perfect. All right, let's clean that off. Sorry about that noise. All right. I think this is one that could do to have a bit of a bath in some stamp and mist. Anyway, not to worry. So I'm going to take that one off. Um, close this ink up before I... Oh no, I'll use it for the inside and for the envelope. Hold on two ticks while I get an inside and an envelope. Every week I seem to forget something. All right. So I'll just move that. Move that. Now, while I've got this closed, I'll talk to you about the silicon craft sheet. Now, you know how I put it up in the corner. It just gives it a bit of a shim. Look at me. Gives it a bit of a shim, but when you go to close your plates, put one down. You know not to store your plates hinged together, don't you? Put your silicon craft sheet in the middle. Put your other plate on top and it won't move. Look, it won't move. So that's what you need. I've got small ink spots too. Um, yeah, the chamois is so good. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is better for the environment. Plus the wet wipes um, tend to, well, seem to leave a bit of a residue on your stamps, like little fibres and, and things. So the chamois is great. And um, I think I'll be buying another one. I go to um, a card class every Wednesday morning and um, I'm slowly getting a second of everything so that I don't have to keep unpacking stuff all the time. Um, I can just leave it in my craft trolley and, and go. Sorry, I just had to clean up my hands. Blue is blue. All right, now. Ah, yes. So I'm just going to use the dotted um, image from the stamp set for the inside of the card. Stamp down. Stamp down, and then on the other one I just did one I stamped off on the top and on the envelope. I think two will fit on here almost. All 
Let me go. Yeah, I was so surprised to get happy mail from Christine today. That was lovely. I um, really like happy mail. We all like happy mail, don't we? I'll just clean this one off on here. All right. Sorry about that. Okay, just close this up so I don't put my fingers all over it. So that's the Dragonfly Dreams and now I need to come in and die cut it. I haven't put the Stamparatus away because I want to show you something else with that. So, with my big shot. I ordered some new plates and they've arrived. But I'm too scared to use them. They're so clear and clean and, you know. Right. If you've got scratched plates like I have, and you're cutting foil, just put a piece of um, uh, what do you call that stuff used for baking? Um, baking paper or brown paper or copy paper or put a piece of paper. I think that's moved. Um, over the foil so that your sheets, your foil doesn't get marked when it goes through your big shot because the foil picks up all those scratches and, and things. Um, off the plates so I just put a bit of copy paper or that baking paper or whatever you've got between the foil and your plate and that'll stop it from getting scratched hello Julian Julian Gillespie that bit for something else uh, just get rid of this Pop it down. now I'm going to bring my oh no I need to keep that bit stamparatus back in and I'll show you something else that it's good for Okay, so I'm going to pop this back in here. Like that. And I'm just going to pop my dragonfly back in the middle. Now I know he's already got a body, but Look at this. If you do cut him out and how many times have you tried to stamp his body and you've got it wrong. So cut him out, put him back in his stamparatus. Put the body on the top. 
just like that. Now you can see why my body's nice and clear because I don't use it because I couldn't line it up properly. Close that down. Now some of your um, photopolymers will pick your stamps up but don't worry, just pop them back into place. Alright, I'm going to do this in the bashful blue. And I'm going to ink it up. I'm not having much luck with this today. I have to get that Vaseline onto them. All right. Ink it up. Nicely. And come in with your plate and stamp down. Beautiful. So that's another use. And I think um, I showed you before how I made like 50 swaps for on stage using the stamp gratis to position things. So what I did was I stamped like I stamped the dragonfly, I die cut it and then I just went through and I die cut a whole lot and then I could just slot them back in and stamp. So that's how I did 50. So there's my dragonfly. All right, now while I've got the plates here, um, no, I already talked to you about that, didn't I? But using your silicon craft sheet between your plates to store them so they won't so you need a couple of silicon craft sheets really one for your stamparatus and one for all your glue and what have you so okay so that's that bit done and that bit done what do we need now Oh, some card. All right, so I think I'll do uh, we might do that and some bashful blue. No, not bashful blue. What is it? Balmy blue, bashful blue was another colour that was lovely. But it's very tired. You bought a packet of eight very strong small magnets. Okay, Stampin' Up actually are selling the magnets um, too. But, you know, it's just really good practice to not store, not get them near each other. Um, apart from the fact that they might break, they can pinch your fingers quite badly. Um, if you do get them stuck together, sliding is the way to go. And at least if you've got um, um, washi tape on them or... I've got painter's tape on mine. Um, you'll be able to, you'll have a handle to get them off and um, that'll make life a little easier. All right, now I wasn't sure with this one. It's not very straight. There we go. Um, whether or not I might put some ribbon on it. What do you think? We're going to have our dragonfly on it. Maybe not. All right, so with the dragonfly come in with some mini Stampin' Dimensionals. Now, with this, I did put... 
one here on his body and with the magic of video I've already cut one out in glimmer paper um, I'll put that one there on his body and then just come in I find it's easier with these um, while it's still on the sheet I just come in and cut one in half and pull it half, I think, and the other half. We don't need those anymore. Up there, and then I'll just take that off. I'll put the front of the card on first. And this is glimmer paper I'm using. Here's my dragonfly. Pop the card front on. Just use liquid glue. You don't need very much. A little bit goes a long way. And it gives you wiggle room. Oh, didn't cut that down very well, did I? Didn't cut any of it down. Alright. I'll just trim a little bit off that. I think it's going to cover the front of the card. Never mind. I'm not going to see the blue underneath. I might just cut that down another centimetre. Well, point one of a centimetre. Wasn't much, was it? Okay. You should see my floor. I've got glitter or um, paper, glimmer paper all over it. All right, stick this on the front. We're nearly done. That's because I forgot to cut the card down. You can see a tiny little bit of balmy blue underneath. All right, take the backing off our dragonfly. And you can fluff up his wings if you want to. And we're done. So, to choose your stamps when you're doing that double hinge stamping, you need to make sure they're sort of less than an inch um, because that's about how wide the hinges are on your stamparatus. So, we'll just have a quick look at that. And I'll get my ruler out. All right, now I'll bring in a plate. Now, each hinge is, bring the stamparatus in. All right, so each hinge is about an inch, all right? So from the center of the hinge itself to the, up, to the next center is an inch. So you want, your sentiments to be less than an inch so if we were looking at detailed with love and we wanted to do a different one um, we use the happy birthday out of it because all right i'll take a couple of these out and we'll have a look um, the happy birthday fits because it's less than an inch or 2.5 centimetres, all right? So it's five-eighths, roughly, or one and a half centimetres. This one here that says, let's celebrate, it would fit for single because it's an inch. So if you just wanted to have the same one all the way down, this one would work because it's an inch or 2.5 centimetres. But if you want to have two, you need to make sure that the two together is about an inch. And so that's why this works with the happy birthday out of detailed with love and the um, enjoy your special day out of dragonfly dreams. Okay. All right. So... 
Don't forget my special this week is to buy the Stamparatus using my host code. So buy it online for $85 plus postage. While you're there, why don't you get a, a chamois as well? Yours a bit cleaner than mine. Put it in a clear mount case. Um, and it stays moist for ages. So buy the Stamparatus. And it comes in a nice box with the two magnets. You have to put your own tape on them. I've got painter's tape on mine because I found that was stronger than washi tape. Uh, store them underneath. Now, if they do happen to come together, let's see if I can do this without snapping something. All right, so if they do come together, slide okay that's the best way to do it but try not to let them come together because they are very strong store your stamparatus with the plate separately you can't store it like that because you'll you'll end up breaking the plates so store it with one plate off put your silicon craft out in the middle and then the plates won't slip around when you've got them stored together use the silicon craft mat under the corner as a bit of a shim when you're using photopolymer stamps okay so i think that's about it i'll just bring the cards back in for you to have a look so there's our um balmy blue and blueberry bushel with the envelope to match and this one is highland heather and gorgeous grape with the envelope to match so there are cards this one's already on my blog this one will go up on my blog when i put the video up i'm going to try and do another couple of videos this week um, with some more hints and tricks with the stamparatus and um, some other techniques I've got in mind to do with it. So the Stamparatus is my weekly special. And yeah, don't forget about the DSP sale. Buy three, get one free. Um, what else? Join my team. Uh, get the get 10 ink pads for free from one family. Choose, choose the family you want plus the um, and they're worth about $117 plus um, the $235 worth of product that you choose in your kit. So that's great savings and it's great incentive to join. Uh, plus come next month if you join now, next month you'll be able to be on the pre-order for the holiday catalogue. Can you believe it? A holiday catalogue already. Um and was that it? I think that was it. Yeah. So thanks so much for watching. And um, I hope to see you again next Tuesday. Um, I'm off tomorrow to have a look at a campsite because I'm thinking of running a camp next year. So, yeah, I'll see you again next week at 10 o'clock for Live with Libby. Okay. Thanks so much. Bye for now. It'll take creation, imagination Try to draw outside the line Let us